it's education, planning for the future, thinking that you might have a job, the prospect of something that can uh, deliver opportunity to you and your family. It's education that gives hope. And so I believe that one of the most important thing we, things we can do is to make sure that, for example, the million refugees who've come out of Syria can get the chance of being educated in countries like Lebanon. And that's why we've been trying to develop a program, double shift in schools, where in the morning the Lebanese children are educated, in the afternoon the Syrian children are educated using exactly the same schools and delivering quickly the opportunity for what would be half a million children from Syria to get education in Lebanon. What the region needs is to develop its road, its rail, its power, its electricity, its hospitals, its schools, and of course, particularly in this region, problems with water supply and other forms of power that need to be provided. The World Economic Forum has now a strategic uh, infrastructure initiative to try to bring public and private sectors together to deal with this problem, which is the initial funding, the early stage funding, the project planning stage funding, which often holds back infrastructure projects. And if we can do that, then that is the basis on which uh, a future of strong, balanced, diversified economic growth can be built. This is a time of huge uncertainty and instability. So we meet in, in the context of these tragic struggles going on within the region. But we also have to focus people's minds on the economic opportunities ahead. We tragically have a biggest, the biggest number of uh, proportion of youth unemployed, and therefore we have to do something about the discontent and the disenchantment felt by young people who are entrepreneurial, as we found from great surveys, but don't yet have the opportunities to develop their talents. So it's a time where we must plan for the future, where we must invest in infrastructure to build that future, where we've got to give attention to the entrepreneurial and the educational and the employment opportunities that young people should have. And that's why it's also an exciting time for the long-term development of what is one of the great regions of the world.